Hi everyone and welcome to the KPMG virtual internship uh, for module one. My name is Arthur, um, I'm a university student at the University of Chicago. Um, because of COVID-19 I have come back to Australia um, and I came across this uh, KPMG virtual internship um, and I thought it would be a good idea and a good opportunity to sort of run through um, my process of solving this issue. Um, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. All right, so once you download the document from the website, um, you get the Excel document here. So you have KPMG, the company we're da uh, analyzing data for is Sprocket Central. You have the three sheets down the bottom. I've organized them in order. Um, yep, yeah, and we're just focusing on module one. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just, I'm just reading through. So basically just data quality issues. Okay. So once we open this up, um, this is our spreadsheet. Uh, we can go ahead and delete this thing up top. Delete that and start uh, filtering through. Okay, so I'm gonna trust the customer IDs are okay. Um, we can look for some blanks um, in the first, first name region. Okay, it looks good. There's a blank in the last name, but I think I'm just gonna leave that. Yeah, there's some blanks. I'm just gonna leave it because um, the first names, uh, it's enough to identify someone. Um, okay, then we have the genders. Okay, so I have, there are some problems here. We have F, female, female, M, and male. So we can change that number of different ways. So luckily, okay, there's not many M's. So you can just go ahead and type male in for there. There we go. So M's gone. Um, for the rest, we can find and replace. So we can search for F and then for replace it with female. We need to make sure that find entire cells only is ticked, otherwise this won't work. So we will replace all, okay, there's only one. Do the same for the wrongly spelled female. Replace all. Okay, just one, one again. And I think that was all. Okay. All right, yep, we can keep you, you was fine. Okay, so just expanding some cells. Having a look if there are any blanks. Okay, looks good. Okay, now for date of birth, um, just to make it a bit more comprehensible, I'm gonna create, and I'm gonna insert a new column call it age uh, and we have some we can put in some code here uh, it's now bracket bracket minus uh, the date close bracket divided by 365 so it's going to give us a date we're going to convert that <coughs> um, into number and there we go so we have the ages for um, the date of birth so now we can have a look through the age, see if there's anything out of the ordinary. Okay, yeah, so we have 120 years old, so I'm gonna get rid of that <laughs> value. Um, that was, that would have been the, like 1800s or something in this one. Yeah, so that one's gone now. Okay, that's good. Okay, for job title, I'm unsure I'm just, I'm not sh sure if we should get rid of the blanks here. I think just for simplicity, I think I might. So, okay, I'll just, I'll go, I'll get rid of the blanks. So we'll go down. There we go, I'll tick that. So no more blanks. Industry, um, have a look. Okay, yep, yeah, so that's okay. That looks okay. I'm just gonna trust it's fine. 
Okay, for the deceased, we don't want the deceased, so I untick that. Um, because that will give us uh, more accurate data for the future. And then, okay, let's have a look at this. <laughs> um, I don't know what that is. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what that is. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. If you know what it is, um, you're more than welcome to f um, figure that out and edit yours. Okay, um, and that all looks good. So we can basically, we can move on. All right, so we have the next one, same thing. We're gonna delete the top. Okay. Again, let's add some filters. Trust in customer ID is okay. I'm just gonna expand some addresses. Yeah, that looks nice. This goes okay. So there, there's problems with the states. There's a number of different ways you can do this. Um, Okay, I think we're gonna go. We're gonna um, we're gonna use the replace function like we did before. So we're gonna go replace. Uh, so let's start with New New South Wales, and then we're gonna change it to um, NSW. So same thing. Make sure find cells only is ticked. Replace all. Same thing for Victoria, VIC. Okay, I think that was all. Yep. Okay, great. So that's all. Um, there is another way of doing it using VLOOKUP that I'll go over um, at the end really quickly. Okay, I think that all looks good. So we'll move on. So, transactions, once again, let's just get, get rid of the top thing to make it a bit easier. Filter once again. All right, so, interest, the online auto one is interesting, we'll get to that. Yep, so just checking, there's no blanks. That's okay. Dates are probably worth looking into, we might do that later, but for simplicity, we'll just leave it. So I'm gonna get rid of the blanks, and um, if this was only an online business, I would get rid of false. But um, I don't think they said anything about that, so we're gonna leave it, we're gonna leave for online, and I guess in-store orders. And get rid of the blanks on the brand. Most of this work is pretty easy. I'm um, just walk through, just going through and checking for blanks essentially. That looks good. So we can um, change the format of this to make it a price. Um, yep, yeah, select the whole row and change that to currency. There we go. Um, okay, this column looks like gibberish, so I think it's the, uh, it's the date. So we're gonna change that to short date. Yeah, I think that looks better. And the final column, I'm just gonna add a profit. Um, pretty simple, just list price minus standard. Um, there we go, and then for the rest of the cells, just double click. There we go. So, just some extra information for analysis. Okay, so final column. I think every, so. Get, we'll just get rid of the top once again, and then um, add some filters. Most of it should be okay. I'm just going to go through, change some formatting. filters once again nice and easy like that okay and then we have uh, 
past three years. We're just gonna change that to, I think it's text. We're gonna change that to number. There we go, so numbers done. Missing something there. You can also go, you can also add an age um, column. Uh, I'm just too lazy. <laughs> that looks good. Okay, so none of the C's, which is good. Keep going through. So postcode, similar thing. I'm just gonna change it to number. cells just kind of hidden so I'm just gonna open them up to have a look what they mean and then if they're not important um, I'm, I'm assuming it might be um, it'll just be a company um, index that the just basically um, <laughs> so we'll just most likely leave them but we'll have a look at them anyway see what they mean so you just have okay so that randomizes something just a random number then it's used to calculate. You can just have it, you can click it and just have a look what the cells, um, which cells are being used. So here we have like, if you own a car, yes. So that number will be multiplied by um, another 1.25, I think. There we go, yep. And then same thing with this one. So they kind of feed into each other. I'm not gonna do anything. I might just change the formatting later. And then these two, however, they seem identical. So, and there's a calculation for this using the final column. So, okay, I might just get rid of, oops. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'll get rid of this rank column. I'm just checking if I'm pretty sure they're the same. Yeah. Okay, I'll rename this rank and I will just get rid of this column because it's not connected to anything. Select all of that. So, and now I'm just gonna go through the formatting. I'm not sure, I know the decimals, the decimals seem kind of important, so I'm gonna... How many? I'm just looking how many are important. I might leave three. Check again. They look the first couple, not they look some look the same. Okay, we'll just leave it to three. Um, again, change to number. <clears throat> and then change to number again. Two decimal places is fine, we'll leave that. If you really want, uh, we could title um, these columns as well, but um, I'm just gonna leave them. Close them all back up. Just 
to avoid confusion later for myself if I just when I check over it. Okay. Looks good. Okay, so it looks like that's done. Um, oh yeah, one problem here. There we go, just all the same. Okay, I think I'm happy with it. Um, so we're gonna go, gonna go back to custom, what was it, cust customer address, um, and I'll just show you uh, the other method. Um, of kind of filtering through some data that wasn't the same. So if I change this to New South Wales, like, like it was before, and then we can check, uh, change Victor Vic to Victoria. Um, and then we just need to create a little table. Um, can be in a different sheet, doesn't have to be here. So New South Wales, Vic, Queensland. Then we'll have the other New South, so like the properly spelled New South Wales. Then Victoria. And basically we're just gonna say what all of them are equal to. So New South Wales, Vic, Queensland, change it, keep this as New South Wales again, and VIC, okay. And now what we can do is, we can use the V lookup function. So V lookup. Select the cell that you're kind of looking for, then you need to select the, the table that we just made. And then the second row um, is, oops, I'm, I'm thinking you can't, I'm not sure if you can see this, sorry. I'll scroll it back over, there we go, it should be better. Yeah, so you're looking for, um, the call number would be number two, and then range lookup, you're looking for false because you want an exact match. So we have New South Wales, um, which corresponds to the D2 column. Uh, uh, oops, okay, so we need to um, put in some dollar signs because it's moving the table. Okay, so we'll add those to keep the, the table that we made stable. And then there we go. Okay, so we can see that now New South Wales uh, lines up with all the correct Oh, Queensland's right. There we go. Queensland's fixed. Sorry, it's not that wrong. Okay, there we go. So we have New South Wales. New South Wales corresponds correctly. We have Victoria, and then now that corresponds with VIC. Okay. All right, great. So that's it. Um, then we can move on to module two. I believe we have to draft up an email. One of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is because a lot of people, um, well, not a lot of people, I, I specifically found it a little difficult. Um, you know, I wasn't sure if I was on the right track. So um, let me know if you want me to draft up an email, I can post that as well. And um, next time I'll try and move on to module two and see how that goes.